Hey guys, we'll work on the first project of this year here. And uh, some people have asked me, how do you measure a cylinder bore on an engine? Well, you need two things. You need a cylinder bore dial indicator, and you need a micrometer. And this particular one that I have here has a digital readout on there. And what you do is, I'm going to do a 14 horse Kohler and by default the bore should be 3.5 inches so what you do is you set your gauge here so that it's starting at 3.5 mine has different size tips that go in here they vary by like 0.2 inches so if you were doing a three and a half or three and a quarter you got to change this tip size then you set your micrometer to the value that you want to measure so I've got my micrometer here set to 3.5 inches now what you do is you put this in the micrometer and then I have a zero button here on the top that I hit that will calibrate this to three and a half inches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate this you can't see it on the camera sorry and uh, it's kind of tricky to do this one-handed, to be honest with you. I guess if you were really slick, you'd put the micrometer in a vise or something, so you don't have to hold it. But these things are very sensitive, and uh, I just want to make sure you got to make sure everything is like centered perfect. And uh, okay. So, I've got this zeroed out at 3.5 inches, and uh, I've got this 14 horse Kohler here from my 814, and I'm going to put this in the cylinder and go up and down. I've got 3.5042, 3.5029, So it's really not that far out of standard. And uh, the question is, what size piston do I need to put in this thing? And again, I'm going to look at this again. 3.5016, 3.5025. If you go left or right on this a hair and you're not square, you're going to get the wrong measurement. So um, other times I've more or less taken the rings off the piston and put that in there so you can rest this on the piston but even that it rocks so you got to try to do your best to make sure that it's square in the in the bore and uh, you can see the difference so if I'm pretty sure that I'm square here I'm 3.5013 3.5015 what I'm looking for is the maximum value that it comes up with because if we're going to go to a, a 10 over piston, it'd be 0, 1, 0. So if I'm at 3.5 for factory, theoretically I'd be 3.51. So if I'm coming up here, 3 3.5, 3.5086, 3.5086, 3.5028 question is do I go to a 20 or a 10 that's really the, the bottom line here and uh, I think that going to a 10 is where I'm going to be for the most part this thing is like 3.5003 3.5008 it's actually in really good shape So that's how you measure it. And then the Kohler manual tells you that there's a spec between uh, the piston diameter and the bore. And it tells you that it's something like seven to nine thousandths, which is really, really big. On a car, you might be talking about one thousandth or something like that. So if I was to measure this piston, for example, um, I have my micrometer here, I could measure it, but that's how the machine shop is going to bore this thing, or most likely they're not going to bore it, they're just going to hone it. But they're going to measure your piston, and then add seven thousandths to that, and that's what your finished bore is going to be on your block. So, 
Um, hope you guys learned something. And uh, this was the block that had the grenaded balance gears. And if you remember the broken dipper on the rod because the balance gear fell in the oil pan and broke the dipper. And then shortly thereafter, uh, the thing seized up solid and wouldn't even turn. And it scored the, seal, the cylinder pretty deep. We'll see if we can get some pictures of that. All right, so you can see the scoring in this cylinder here. And the question is, how deep is that scoring? And again, I don't have, it's not very deep. I can feel it with my finger. There's no ridges or anything nasty in there. In fact, I could probably take my little drill hone in there for a minute and just get rid of that uh, scoring. But I think that this probably could have a 10 over piston is my gut feeling. And uh, it's really not that bad. There's no, there's one deep one that's over here, and uh, that one's pretty deep. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's hard to see with this light, but there's one right here that's deep that I can put my fingernail in and feel it. It goes all the way down to the almost the bottom of the stroke area. So that is probably where the piston is kinked over here, I bet. I bet that little ridge or sharp spot, yeah, that would make sense. If the piston was in there like this, um, that definitely would make sense that this area is what created that little deep spot. So my gut feeling is that the engine guy is going to tell me I need to go to a 20 and not a 10. And uh, I can try to put my measuring tool inside the deep spot there but it's you only get this little point on here or this end has kind of a wider thing with like a ball on it but problem is that that the width of the groove is not as large as the width of the uh measuring device and it's hard to see this but uh, what do I got here? Got 3.506, So I think that this thing is within a couple thousands of being 3.510. So I probably could get away with a 10 over piston in this bad boy. And, uh, as I turn the, the thing here, I can feel it catch the groove. And it maybe goes about three thousandths deep. And uh, I'm never getting anywhere close to 3.51 anything. So that being said, I think that I can get a 10 over piston and, and safely have my guy install that. Or not install it but uh, hone out to that and uh, it's really not a lot of honing that has to be done to get it to that this piston that was in here is standard as you can see and uh, you, know, you can put it in there and move it side to side and feel that it's loose a little bit but um, yeah but uh, yeah I think we're gonna go 10 over on this thing and uh, call it a day. All right. So the kit that I have here for the bore indicator, like I was saying, it comes with all these different length tips to measure different length things. So, um, yeah. And what I was talking about, you'll see here where you calibrate it with the micrometer. And I bought a micrometer on eBay for about 20 bucks. And uh, this particular kit here is like $150. But hey, it's worth the investment to me. I've got a lot of motors that I've rebuilt. And this has come in handy on every single one. And uh, even working on something like this Onan Twin here that I'm working on the crankshaft replacement for. 
Um, you can see these nasty pistons that came out and then you can say to yourself do I have to machine this block or not and you can measure the bore with that uh, gauge there and uh, you saw me do it on the 450 quick way uh, loader and everything was perfect to OEM spec so I put it back together basically uh, and it runs like brand new so yeah.